hello my friends I think that's funny because the guy does a lot of videos on residential air conditioner and starts it out that way but anyways um I'm here at Oldsmar Florida a uh, pretty nice place um, gated community big house not uh, the boats okay it's just not been maintained and what we're looking at today is a VG system that's connected to your vacuum flush. VG standing for vacuum generator. It accumulates 10 inches of vacuum and allows you to use a lot of vacuum and a little water to move the waste from point A to point B. Oh, you can see I'm working on a Monterey. Um, this is fresh water. So they actually have to go through a lock to drop their boat into salt water and motor out to the Gulf of Mexico it's more fr it's could you know consider brackish you can see really wicked but a lot of boats in here and all of them have to go through a lock meaning they go into a an area and it's filled with water and then the water level drops and then they can motor into it but anyways here's the VG this is a vacuum generator it's not a VG1 or a VG2, it's just a VG. Um, you can see this is the pressure switch here. It gets sucked in when it's under vacuum and pulls away from this micro switch, which is just a plunger switch. Um, and then you got your vacuum generator, and that's what we did today. You can see that this motor is horizontal. Um, the old one is more at a, almost a 45 degree angle. You can see the orientation of that one. It's at a 45 degree angle. Downwards, not up, but down. And it's leaking oil. So it's a sealed motor. And when they start to leak oil, it needs to be removed and replaced. Unfortunately, this is an antiquated system. So I had to do a whole rebuild for the, to that whole pump. So every screw you see, I had to take loose. And these are the tools I used. You only use hand tools when you're dealing with vacuum flush. Or you'll crack the plastic or damage the unit itself. And this is all the parts that I removed and replaced. There's the 12 volt motor. These are half fan clamps. O-ring, cam nut. The actual bellows itself kind of get like an accordion and another o-ring here inside there and then four dumbbell valves so those are all the parts i replaced and it's completely reassembled and ready to go back in the boat i do have some power problems but i'll show you where the unit is located which is a freaking nightmare and this boat hasn't been maintained very well but it's still a nice boat, I mean, a little wax will go a long ways, and some soft scrub. So this is down into the cabin. So we'll walk down into the cabin here, and now we're looking forward, and that's the V-berth. That's the salon with a wraparound couch. This is the galley, little refrigerator down here, electric stove sink, microwave, coffee maker, little TV over there. And this is the main distribution panel, meaning your AC and DC power. And if you look aft, or the rear of the boat, there's a little aft cabin here. And that unit was up in that hole right there. You can see the wall to the bed, and you can see that cavity, and if you look close, you'll see the shelf it sits on. Really, really tough to get out. Took me a little while to find it. It was a tough one. Couldn't turn on the system to listen for it, so I just had to follow hoses. So, I just wanted to show you all a, a VG motor and bellows replacement kit. It took me about mm, 30 minutes to rebuild. And uh, 
there she is. So now I gotta crawl back in that hole and get her reconnected to her inlet and outlet hoses and 12 volt DC and go ahead and do a startup, check vacuum, run some water through it, and then we'll be good to go. One lesson I do want to teach y'all, only use hand tools. Don't use the drill. You see that drill? Only use hand tools. All right, and wear gloves, guys. So, and I use uh, hand sanitizer too. So, this bird's trying to be Mr. Badass to try to keep me away from him. He's so funny. <laughs> the closer I get, the badder he gets. See, look at him. He's Mr. Badass. Boy, I don't want to mess with you. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Bosserman Marine Service. We handle every integrated system on board except for your propulsion engines and your radar. So give us a call if we can help you in any way. Our phone number is 727-521-1385. We go from Port Tarpon to Port Charlotte, any house and marina in between. Thanks for watching.